And we're back. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, dearies. How you doing? I'm okay. What? Love you too. <laughs> we're near the intro, and... Oh, did you not mean that, bitch? Stroke your face. What is that noise? What the fuck's that noise? It's room service. That table's... The furniture is alive, Tom. The halls are alive. Oh, it's daddy. Yeah, but there's... Daddy! One. Oh, no, it's not dead. Oh. Daddy! Oh, they go down with one shotgun blast now. Wow, the furniture is... What is that supposed to be? It's meant to be a dad. <laughs> Did you actually Google it? Yeah. So it's and just... that's, that's when I found out who the end boss is. From in the future, don't Google games. Why the fuck not, bitch? Because it spoils it. Bish. It spoils the game for you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that fucking John Tron thing. Oh my god! I can't do his voice. <clears throat> there is no way I can achieve such a high octave as that. <coughs> I'm deaf. I'm tone deaf. I'm. I've got the personality of a fucking brick, and I have a very low voice. Low. Not not low low, but uh. screaming is not my forte. <coughs> Coughing is though. Ow. Boob. <laughs> Why is my light not on? Oh. Ah, oh, hi there. Hello. Are you room service? Oh dear. Ow. Fuck. Oh. Yeah. Oh dear, you're gonna twitch, aren't you? Back the fuck up. Oh, no. What the? I'm still hearing the. <laughs> I find it very weird that the town decided to manifest his monsters as leggy mannequins. Leggy, leggy, leggy. God, mannequins are so creepy. Leggy, leggy, leggy. Do you think they're like creepy? If I was in like, if I worked at like retail or like Primark or something, and the first thing I had to do every night was put the mannequins away in like a huge storage cupboard, I'd shit myself. I wouldn't be able to. My history of these games would prevent me from being able to do that. What's this? This looks nice. I got a can of thinner. Of what? Thinner. 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 Can I have some? <laughs> We're gonna. T Very funny. <laughs> just, I just slim down. <laughs> just caught on to what you meant. I'm a dum dum. Why is the elevator not working? You okay there, Jasper? <coughs> I might move him out of the room. Okay. <coughs> Don't mind me. Flemington. I'll do it at the end of this recording. Okie dokie. Are you still kicking ass on Hearthstone, huh? Yes. Okay. You should, um... So, have you ever considered doing a Civilization 5? Civ 5 recording? No. Well, yes, but no. Because I've got a laptop. Yeah. And... As you know with the game that I did a couple of days ago... Yeah. It crashes now because I got to the point where... It was too much for my laptop to handle. Well, yeah, they couldn't handle the religion of the gay agenda. No. The gay agenda was spreading everywhere, and the Catholics decided to shut it down, which for was very <laughs> sad. For those of you who don't know what Civ Five, and I'll try to explain my best, is that the aim of the game is to become a world leader. <clears throat> it might be easier, because I've, you've not got the game. No, you say you can, you can probably explain it a bit better. Civ Five is an RTS, and... It's semi-fictional in the sense that you have real-world um, civilizations that you can play as or play against. So the one I usually play is Celts because I'm Scottish. <laughs> so you know, I, I would rather play Celts than you the English explain, or British. You should probably explain also why you're Scottish and why you don't sound Scottish at all. I'm Scottish because I'm Scottish. <laughs> And I don't sound Scottish because yeah. I was kidnapped and brought across the border into England not against because, my will. Not because John Barron says he's Scottish so he could have the vote stay in uh, fucking... That... <laughs> he's Canadian, isn't he? Yeah, he's, can... he's Canadian, <laughs> bastard. That was funny. And he put on the fake Scottish hat. He was like, my, I'm, my name is John Barrowman and I'm Scottish. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was that no. a bad... Was, was that a bad, bad record? Bad, um, no, no, that was a perfect 
perfect and accurate um, Crappy. impression of what he sounded like. But that was just the reaction I had to when. And our started... vote stay in the in the UK, and like, you oh, up, you don't have a you don't have a right to talk about you're it. Canadian. You're Canadian. Right, you, you're Canadian. Donald not... Trump came from Scotland, and he sounds like an asshole. No, he didn't come from <clears> Scotland. <throat> if he came from Scotland, he wouldn't be allowed to run for president. His mum oh. came from Scotland. Oh, um, actually, did you hear what his um actual family um origin name is? Like his his family from like Germany. Do you know um, what it is? Oh, is it shithead? It's Drumpf. Oh. <laughs> Drumpf. I love it. Well, Drumpf. anyway, anyway, Civ Five. Yeah, you, <laughs> you can you can pl- I play as the Celts and um, part of their um civilization bonus because each civilization has um a special trait. So some have better. Um, building speed, some are better at military, some are better at navy, <laughs> some science, some religion, but with the Celts it's religion. Mm-hmm. So I made a religion and I called it the Gay Agenda. <laughs> and The one before that. Sorry? The one before that. Well, I can't remember what that one was, but stay, focus, focus, <laughs> focus. Sorry, I really focus, want to say. Focus. <laughs> I might use it for a Civ 5 stream later on, Please so do. don't, don't spoil <laughs> it. Cracked me up. Don't spoil it, but, um, <laughs> but, oh. yeah, I made the gay agenda, and, um, of all places... Uh, face on pink. Sorry. Of all places, my civilization started in Scunthorpe, because I, I played it on a map of the UK. Um, and I, you know, made my capital, made my religion, started spreading it. I went for the most aggressive um, way of spreading the religion. Um, and my nearest neighbours were the Spanish in where London was. <laughs> and they, you know, their default religion is Catholicism. So naturally, I went in and um, destroyed. Um, the Spanish. I took over Madrid. You can't do diplomacy, can you? No, I can do. Martin, I was very close allies to the Portuguese. Still am close <laughs> allies. Well, was, because I had to do that <coughs> safe file, but um, close allies to the Portuguese and the Brazilians in that game. Um, God, but yeah, I, I just I, open up. I managed to buy um, my way to victory, in a way, because you get victory through a cultural domination, a scientific, a uh, military, or a diplomacy um, victory. You can't do diplomacy for shit. No, I, I actually could, because I, the diplomacy um, way of doing it is, say there's a hundred votes in the um, United Nations of the game. Yeah. Um, you just need to get 51 of those votes, or yes. a simple majority, in your favour mm. in order to be elected world leader and therefore trigger a diplomatic victory. Um, you get three for being three delegates for being the host nation, plus an additional two if you've got a specific wonder, but I can't remember what that is. And then um, you get one extra delegate for each city state that you're allied to. So I went around and bought all of the city states. So I had an extra, um, I had an extra twenty votes in the world parliament against the twenty or thirty votes that were against me. So I destroyed the Spanish in the game so that they couldn't use their votes against me. And then I was about <laughs> to destroy the Ottomans as well. And their chairs. And what? And their chairs. Chairs. Yes. What? Ottoman chair. I've never heard of that. Seriously? Yeah. It's like a footstool. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, I was about to destroy the Ottomans, and if no I had managed to destroy the Ottomans, I would have been able to um, get a vote through as world leader, because I know the Portuguese would have supported me um, in a trade deal, mm-hmm. and I would have had all the votes of the city-states, plus being host nation. Um, you would have had all the votes and the best votes, like Trump. Except I didn't go around destroying all of the, you know, civilizations, which is exactly what Trump would do. I only destroyed two. No, I know. Hold on. Were they destroyed... God, he's looking a bit deflated. Um, were they only destroyed because you had to? I had to destroy them because they were actually being a bit aggressive and they were declaring war on everyone else. So it was a case of... 
everyone was fine with me going to war with those two civilizations yeah. and me embargoing those what? two civilizations. I do. And I was very close to just putting in a diplomatic victory, and sadly, the game just kept crashing because I couldn't. I, it was just too much for my computer to handle, so I had to give up on that save file. But given that I had over 2,000 victory points and yeah. the nearest person was just over a thousand oh, victory points. Oh, for fuck's sake. God, it's like a scene out of the Titanic. <laughs> um, Never find the blue Harley Ocean. No, because she just went whoops and dropped it in. <laughs> oh, 80 years. It's been 80 years. But yeah, no, there's um, different ways of winning. My preferred method is diplomacy because you know, I'm a big politics geek and I'd imagine, Martin, yours would be... Um, diplomacy. Well, you're crap at diplomacy. I am not crap at diplomacy. <laughs> I am a very <laughs> nice person. Thank you, you might be a nice person, but being nice in Civ Five isn't going to get you a victory in Civ Five. You're saying I have to be a semi-bastard? Yeah, you have, to, you have to go around and you have to um, eliminate a civilization or two. You have to do that. I probably shouldn't say I'm a nice guy. Because that's the equivalent of just sort of hiding guns. <laughs> and I don't... I think I can be a dick at times, but I try not to be. That's the ultimate truth, though. What the fuck do I do? I am so fucking lost. The bag is locked. Let's try the fish key. The fish key works. <laughs> Fishy. Well, we're back with another key. I didn't see what the key was. It looked like <laughs> a couple of earrings, to be honest. The key was the key to room 204. Progress! Um, so we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We got a key, now we go stick it somewhere. Simple as that. Oh, wow. What are you wowing up? <clears throat> Just. <laughs> I'm playing the Tavern Brawl, yeah. and I've got four unstable portals because it's some weird ass. Here's a hundred unstable portals. <laughs> really? Good luck. Is that it? That's really funny. <laughs> Two. That's Jasper snoring. No, I can hear something. I think it's like crying from like PT. All right. So what's in here then? It's not the monsters that make a Silent Hill game, though they do add to the horror side of it and storytelling, but it really is the environment. Environment. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's look a bit tattered and broken. What the fuck? Oh, a four letter word. A T R P N Hell. Maybe the <laughs> word is hate. Maybe. Oh wait, let me halt, halt. If you go up, I can't go up. Oh. Halt. You've just passed it again. Oh wait, does it trigger automatically? Yeah. Oh, okay. It could be anything, really. It could be. So it could be any four-letter word. I would have no idea. Jasper <laughs> snoring in the background. You're right there, buddy. Now it's unlocked. Yay! What? Oh, what? Their photos are scattered all over the bed. What's this? Part of the photo has been coloured out over with a marker. That's helpful. So I've got to guess what the fucking word is. All right. Well. <laughs> I guess next time we'll guess what the word on the suitcase is. <laughs>